support us on Patreon to get access to member-exclusive benefits and first dibs on the latest Manchester United news. Hey, 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 guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio, and it's a Bruno Fernandes update. And before we get into news about Bruno Fernandes to Manchester United, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, United X, and smash that notification button as well as the bell to get the latest Manchester United news. So, Bruno Fernandes, there's obviously been a lot of talk regarding Bruno Fernandes' transfer to Manchester United. Um, and there's been a, a bit, bit of an update regarding that, that potential transfer. And this is coming from the Sporting Lisbon head coach himself, Silas. Okay, so this is not just speculation. This is coming from Sporting Lisbon head coach Silas himself, admitting that the club are making plans for Bruno Fernandes' exit in the January transfer window. Um, so this is actually from the Sky, Sky Sports article, but I will just go through it, and the link will be in the description. But essentially, obviously. Um, Manchester United were confirmed as being interested in signing 25-year-old Portuguese international Ojogo to the Portuguese press and editor chief Filipe Diaz on the latest episode of Sky Sports Transfer Talk, um, which any confirms United are interested in signing Bruno Fernandes. Um, Bruno Fernandes scored a brace 3-1 um, this this weekend. He did play for Sporting, and basically this is what and this is the key thing here, guys. Listen here. This is what um, Sporting Lisbon head coach, the manager of Sporting, has missed what he said regarding whether Bruno Fernandes would be available to play against Benfica on Friday. And I quote, this is what he said, I can't guarantee any of these things because I don't know. Bruno is a huge player and all players like him have a lot of market. I don't like to think about it, but I'll be thinking of alternatives in case Bruno leaves. I hope it doesn't happen, but we have to start thinking that. Um, that is coming from... Um, the head coach himself. Now, Sporting said they would accept um, 70 million euros, but in paid instalments. Um, United, this is according to Diaz, who's from a Jogo, saying United is a club that Bruno Fernandes really likes in England. It's a club that he really wants to play for. Um, so, obviously, the player does want to come. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer won't talk about it, but doesn't deny it either, as he said in his recent press conference. And Sporting do need the money. So, the key thing stopping this deal right now is our Manchester United, our Ed Woodward, willing to stop negotiating and just fork up £60 million to basically buy this guy because I think the hold-up from this deal seems to be more regarding Manchester United trying to negotiate, trying to say £50 million, £55 million, etc. rather than saying, sporting, here's your £60 million, bring Bruno Fernandes in so we have another midfield and call it a day. But like I said, this is the latest updated news. I think this is very, very significant because, um, let's be frank, um, if the sporting head coach, if he said there was nothing in it, then he would have. It would have been easy for him to outright say, "Listen, Bruno Fernandes is going to be playing for Sporting Lisbon um, this coming week." The fact that Bruno, but he doesn't know whether Bruno Fernandes will be available to play for Sporting Lisbon again um, this coming Friday tells me that a deal or negotiation is very close. It is very close, and the question is, will United finally, finally, finally submit? And confirm a good offer um, for Bruno Fernandes so that we can have him at our club at Manchester United at last. Anyway, thanks again for everyone who's listening and watching. If you're new to the channel, again, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, United X, and smash the notification button for latest United news. Consider joining our Discord community as well as supporting us on PayPal and Patreon. Have a nice evening, guys, and cheers.